Employee appreciation is one of the open acknowledgement and appraisal of an employee's behavior or accomplishment that is used to express the gratitude, motivate employees, or reinforce the desired conduct. Recognition is another important component that influences the employee's engagement and some of the benefits of good employee recognition programs include increased engagement and productivity, greater employee happiness and enjoyment at work. So let's see how can we manage the employee challenges and badges in Odoo 16 employee module. So you can just dive into the employee module. Here under the configuration menu, you would be able to manage the employee badge and challenges under the challenge section. Employee challenge and badge are two configuration options accessible in the employee platform. So let's create a new badge. Here you can see the already configured badges. So let me uh, choose one of the badge from the Odoo platform. So currently I'm going to choose the badge as problem solver, which is not assigned for any of the users. So in order to grant this badge, you can just click on grant this badge and that would allow you to add the user. So this badge can be only added to the internal users because we know that internal users are the people in the organization or employees in the organization. So here you can see Magdamu is an employee and I'm going to assign a badge for this employee. So if you want to give any description over here, you can set that. And you can just click on grant badge and you can see that this badge is finally granted and the number of grantees or uh, grant and badge would be able to see from here. And this is granted for the employee mark demo. And when you just back to the uh, all badges, you would be able to see that has granted. Now, if you want to create a new badge, it is very easy to create a new badge by clicking on new button. And here you can add the name of the badge. So let me uh, add the name of the badge as problem solver. And you can also provide the description. And here we can see different sections such as granting rewards for challenges or forum uh, badge level and statistics. So here we can set the granting, like we can set the security rules to define who is allowed it to manually grant the badges and not enforce for the administrator. So the elements to grant badges for everyone, or we can select a user, list of users or people having some badges or no one assigned through challenges. So here I'm going to allow this badge for every internal users. And if you want to set a monthly a limited sending you can just enable this field and yeah currently I'm not uh, setting that and under the rewards for challenges you can set the reward so when you just click on add button here order will provide different rewards so let me uh, choose reward uh, such as complete your profile so once the employee complete his profile he might be getting a reward and uh, he can set uh, uh, set up his computer for that also he might be getting the point. And here we can also provide the badge uh, for forum levels. So if he attain a certain points in the forum, he will get a badge uh, that can be bronze, silver or gold. So currently we can set the forum badge as uh, level as bronze. And uh, yeah, let me save this. And after that, let's grant this badge to the internal user. Okay, so finally we have just created a badge and granted it for the internal user. So the created badge would be visible under here and if you want to set a icon for this badge, you can set that. Now let's see how can we grant a badge for an employee from the employee form. For that you can just dive into the employees and choose any one of the employee. So let me choose Magdamo as my employee. So let me search for the employee mark and here when it comes to the uh, received badges, you would be able to see all the badge that is granted for the employee or uh, mark, mark the move. And if you want to grant a badge, you can just 
grant it directly from here now you can see that uh yeah here you can uh, choose the uh, badge that you need to grant so let me choose good job as a brand i mean badge and you can also set a description over here and you can just click on reward employee so the granted uh, badge will be visible under the received badges and you can also now manage the challenges in order to manage the challenges you can just choose challenges from the configuration menu so here you can see that so here uh it is by default is it is filtered by running challenges and we don't have any running challenges right now so let's see how can we create a new challenge so here you can set the name of the challenge like that can be monthly sales objective and you can also set a domain uh, to filter it out so let me set the uh, name of the challenge as monthly sales objective and here we can also assign this challenge to a particular record set uh, like you can choose a group that can be internal users or uh, any other users and if you want to make it active you can just choose the option as active and that is equal to true and currently we can see that uh, the internal users with active that is active internal users of records is visible as uh, two because currently we have only two internal users who are active and if you want to view the active users you can choose this two records and you would be able to see the active users and let me close this and you can also set the periodicity like you can use non-recurring that can be daily or weekly or monthly or yearly and you can also set a responsible person for this challenge and if you want to uh, restrict this with a start date and end date uh, for this challenge you can set the date and the display mode are of two type that is individual calls or leader mode uh, that is based on grouping grants so let me choose the uh, display mode as individual calls and once you choose the individual mode you might be uh, getting three tabs such as goals rewards and advanced option so under the goals you can set the goals for this challenge and under the reward tab uh, you would be able to set the rewards for this challenge and under the advanced option you can set the subscription notification message and remainder of all manual goals and other category so let me fill out all other details so here so here let me uh, set the goal definition as uh, yeah you can set your time zone and here we can set the condition as the higher the better and you can also set the target and suffix for this and under this you can also add some custom fields under the rewards you would be able to set uh, like the succeeding users might be getting the reward uh, or the badge as problem solver and for the first user might be getting the badge of good job and for the second you can set it as brilliant and for the third you can set the yeah a badge as my company vendor and you can also reward the best if not succeeded so if you want to just enable that field you can set that and under the advanced option you would be able to set the subscription like you could suggest uh, to the users like that can be uh, Joel Wills, Mark Demo or Michelle Edmund who are the internal users in the company, my company San Francisco. So let me uh, choose the suggest uh, to the users uh, as Mark Demo. And uh, we can also set a notification message like depending on the display mode, report will be uh, shared in, uh, to the individual. So uh, we can set a report frequency like that can be never on change or daily basis weekly monthly or yearly so uh, we may not be generating any notification if we set the report frequency as nava and you can also set a reminder for manual goals uh, so no updated manual goals will be reminded uh, with zero days right now so if you want to set the date you can set it over here and under the category you can also set it to be appear in the human resource or engagement or if you want to uh, get this challenge in the gamification tools or setting you can choose that option 
or if you want to available this challenge in challenge in a particular certifications you can set the third option so let me choose the option as human resource or engagement and finally you can save this so if you want to start this challenge just click on uh, start challenge and uh, you can see currently we have two participants over here and you can see all the participants right now Michelle Letwin who is confirmed intern users and uh, Mark Damo who is not yet uh, confirmed but he is a participant and under the related goals you would be able to see uh, different stages so if you want to uh, create different yeah stage you can set that so let me create the stage as goal 1 and if you want to add further you can uh, set that yeah, now let's back to the uh, challenges and you would be able to see we have set all other details and if you want to refresh this challenge, you can just click on that button or if you want to send report, you can set the report uh, to the users. And the greater challenge would be visible here with all the details that is the number of goals that we have set and the number of participants. So in this video, we have discussed the features and functionalities uh, accessible in Odoo 16 menu items, challenges and badges in the configuration menu. Users of the employee module can utilize these two choices to award or congratulate their staff for meeting particular criteria, which also provides some great work experiences and exciting atmosphere. So hope this concept is worth for you. Uh, thank you for watching the video. As always, stay awesome.